What's up? This is HG News. So I'm going to make this video about clearing up that I might have fractured my foot. I don't know fully. I do have a history with my mom having a bad right foot where the arch is basically. And I had the same thing. My left foot can't support itself. So I get sharp pains like needles in my arch without support. So the arch is those supports and then pushing I'll say like three four hundred pounds at least or more of course of course towards my feet with all that pressure you know you're trying to get it in on a busy day my hurt a little bit but luckily there was no sort no bleeding and I do have an injury in the past that left me having to stay clear of flat shoes without insoles basically because my feet just can't hold their weight on one side. That's the left side. The right foot is unaffected. It's a little flatter, but it doesn't give me the pain. So I can use it in the past. I could go three days or even one day and have very sharp needle pain in the arch of my left foot, and they'd be doing it until I put support in there. And the copper fit balance may not have been a perfect. Um, insole to keep the arch up. It feels to adjust the balance because with this disorder, this is basically a disease that's apparently in the family of my mom. And I just happened to have an injury that caused it to happen. And I've been stuck with wearing arch supports like all my life with insoles. And you can't wear one of these like this. You gotta wear one that's completely has the thing. It's gotta have, you know, certain things like going straight down with gel so it's comfortable because you know your feet are really important and that's why a lot of my feet never got worse over time I had shoes I we my parents bought they were really expensive like 80 bucks or more I recently got a pair from Susan station that's near here it's just about a block away or so a little over a block that $43 pair apparently does not have enough arch support and so I found this prayer you know I was looking at maybe there's a prayer to fix this foot issue and yeah there's people that he showed that proved that it actually worked he prayed for them and he was on there's a lot of these videos about these illnesses just going out playing out gone after the prayer and them being a witness to the Lord and our father you know who cares and Right after, I feel, you know, like no sharp does, just like cooling in the feet. But so far, I have not had any pain with the other shoes without the arch support for so far today. Because luckily, when I got the shoes Friday, I was able to make it at least until I got off. Then I had to swap out supports for the ones I had. They were like 15 bucks, that's how much it usually runs around. And those usually keep my arch upwards so those muscles don't ache so the bones are aligned. I still, I don't walk correctly because of that. And I told the prayers, if I keep doing this field, that it'll actually fix the feet because it's been an issue. I definitely have bad feet. I know it. There is surgery for this illness that is probably not safe for having a liver disease with your blood center and... Depending how my liver is working, I don't know yet. I gotta get tested. You know, we're overdue for our appointment. At least a couple of weeks from, from this month, you know. Supposed to be in the first Thursday of the month of March, but you know, we've been really busy with birthdays and things like that, and they've been working on their house. So they can sell it and move into the city. You know, someone really wants my parents' house I grew up in. It's where we got a deck for the pool. No pool because it collapsed. A couple of winters ago but I was there in the pool a lot of summers when I was in high school and rebuilding my muscles over certain issues with bleeds and one leg and I still have a bad left leg basically and wrist just because of hemophilia and also when they did that when I was bleeding this was like probably 2000 ish early 
I am a two hand pathologist. I know he's been with me. I he's, he, I don't see him more because I'm too old. But they did x-rays, cat skins, and there's a bone that's not shaped correctly. And one of my legs up in the upper joint that connects it to the pelvis and all. So it's, a, it's not a male joint or a female joint. It's kind of weird. So I might have pain every now and then. It's just how it is. This is how the pictures showed back in the day from a cat scan, x-ray. And they make sure they see all the blood they needed. If they needed to do it just then they know right there. If how to treat the bleeding that lasted a year or so with the legs like that, but after that it went away. I still had to get off every now and then. It will get sore a lot, and it's been recently sore because I've been really having to work. And it doesn't matter how heavy you are, because once you have a bad leg with hemophilia, and you don't you don't get medicine in the first like 24 hours. It's going to leave pain like that forever. I'm afraid it's permanent damage. I'll have arthritis with the parts of the joints. Even a joint in my left. Ink on my left. Uh, joint in my leg. I'm not sure. In the, in the knee area. I don't know what leg it is. But I do have pain with that. That was actually. A worse bleed. Because that bleed actually started from. Just knocking my knee, my own leg on the bleacher in my in my middle school. And that led to a complete joint bleed. Having to go to St. Louis to the nearest hematology hospital that was trusted through family history. And it was bad. I had locked up feet. It actually might infuse me up around this area. Around Illinois, the southern part. So they... And the pain went away after awards, but it's permanent arthritis pain in the leg, basically in these joints that are affected. And we were trying to treat that early because we had the medicine in the school and my mom kept it locked in the nurses because they kept a version of it in the nurse office. It was a medicine and I still take it today to treat mild to moderate bleeds. It's dimate, it's EDP, you don't know, it's a different medicine. It basically can dehydrate, so dehydrate you, so you gotta really hydrate yourself in the summer and the winter months, just doesn't matter. But it can also activate something that West Hemophiacs don't make a lot of, it's a hormone. And it, it releases something, something similar to factor eight, and it can treat bleeding to mild to moderate hemophilia. Since my mom's father's my own mom's father had it on both sides. He had a mild side and he had a severe side. That pretty much makes me and Dustin a moderate because moderate is five and up. And I was a nine percenter, he was a seven percenter. But that's how it is. I had a bleed that proved to be a moderate hemophiliac myself. And there was no damage, there was nothing that happened. There was no bruising in the face, it just bled first day of the year quite literally this year and it's it's way past it's it's completely gone now don't worry there's no damage done to the eyes or anything else it's healed up so something that my mom's family had trouble with on one side and it doesn't matter my mom's father apparently had friends and are still alive today who knew his history with hemophilia and he did have bleeds without doing nothing so it's in my blood so it's, I got risks higher than the rest of the mild forms of hemophilia so I got to be more careful and watchful but you know that's how my feet are they will be sore on the left side I can't walk without support but in the last 10 years it's been getting a little better at times but still I use the support because I need to and keep them healthy from breaking more down but I think I had a worker, I still have a lady who is up front, Tammy. She had a surgery at least in the fall time of 2017. She doesn't technically need a support. She had one of those plates that put they put in for like 16 grand or so at one foot. Mine's only one foot, so it's not too bad. But that would have to be done probably. That's, she had to do it because it was so bad. And that's where they go in, into your foot and they actually correct to it. The, the bad part of the bone with the plate of metal and 
raise it up so then that hill, the arch stays upward. It doesn't collapse. And hers, she still works. Still wears good shoes. I do, regardless. Even if I was buying the Walmart cheap type and putting inserts into them, I was fine at the time. No pain, if any, a little. Not as bad. Workable steel, very easily. But yeah, I do have bad feet. <laughs> and it's not with weight. It's just history of the family and the injury that occurred that caused it. Hopefully this corrects, the prayer corrects the damaged foot or so. I did feel it in both places, both feet, but it usually takes me three or four days. You already know if there's any improvement, if I still have it. So it's not technically correct today. I don't know fully yet. But yeah, at least the feet are like that. I mean, if, I, if the prayer works, that's great. Then I don't have to spend fourteen dollars each quarter to keep my feet healthy and supported over the load of you new know, carryouts. You know, lifting wherever I need to do around here, including carrying on a washing machine that caused it to actually make me limp for a, a week or so. But that's fixed. That's gone. There's no surgery involved. It just healed. There was never any bleeding, so there was nothing involved in there that was damaged, apparently. But the feet are not good. The left one's definitely the one that... So the, so the bones are maybe a little sore, but not a lot. It's got better. Every break, I get off my feet, rest it. You know, make sure I, I iced it a couple times this week, so... Make sure it heals correctly inside, so... And I know I, I don't. Uh, my mom's got a friend who actually is a carrier of hemophilia and does has she has the husband has a severe form of it. And I asked her, you know, do I really need to treat it? Because my mom said maybe you need to treat this, and she said no because there's no swelling, there's no signs of bleeding, so technically it would not help. And she's correct. I stay away from it because it's not worth using that medicine if you're not seeing swelling, redness, heat pain severely worse than this so and there was no reason to use this diamine waste to over $700 medicine for sure that's gotta be its own way after six months of being first opened so we got the hospital bill I don't owe nothing insurance luckily covered the full price of $50,000 for the face bleed for the first three days basically being there only and the fact that I owe nothing has been handled with a grant for, hema, for people with hemophilia who can't afford it easily. And that insurance doesn't technically cover. So I'm in the green for that part. I am not don't have to worry about that. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like below. I'll see you later. Bye.